Hey everybody, it's your girl Quincy and uh, I'm going live on For the Love of Whitney because I want to talk to you about the latest biopic from uh, Whitney Houston. Well, The Estate, Clive Davis, the I Want to Dance with Somebody movie. I've been trying to give you guys who haven't seen it time to see it and come on and, you know, let me know what you what you think about it. I really wanted to go live to hear what you guys thought about the movie. Um, I have my opinions and I will share them. Um, but they are there are so many people who love the movie. So I want to know what makes you love the movie. If you don't love it, you can share that too. But I just wanted to tap in, say Happy New Year to all of you guys. And... Uh, Let's talk this Whitney biopic, you guys. What's going on? Who am I speaking with? Hey. Who's on the live? Hey. Uh, Leroy. Hi, Leroy. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Let me turn you up. I can't hardly hear. So, Whitney fan, I, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on with the picture with the with the three greats. Yeah, all day. All, all day. day. Yes, ma'am. Okay. They, they define pop music. They define culture. They define what? Excellence. Everything. Come on. Everything. I like you. You, you captured them all. That, listen. Okay. Show it, to, show it to the people. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was, that's dope. That's dope. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. So tell me, you went to see the movie. What you yeah. think? I loved it. Tell, tell me why. I loved it. You know, um, for one thing, it, it captured, I think, her heart, her art, art artistry. Okay. And it wasn't just it wasn't just about um, the drugs, or it wasn't just about Bobby. It wasn't just about her relationship. It was about Whitney. Mm -hmm. I appreciated that um, how well done it was, how the acting was. Where we just yes, we're, we're telling her story, but we're telling her full story. Mm -hmm. I don't think one is just their mistakes, nor do I think anyone is just um, who they slept with. If, yeah. if I it that way you know what yeah, I mean yeah. so um I, I appreciated that I appreciate that we're putting it and showing how how big her her career really was because mm -hmm. you know, so many people only know her for the tabloid founder and it's like well you know if you're a certain age that's really all you know but you don't understand yeah. that's how big she come, was come on now there's Mariah there's Celine there's Whitney there's there's Michael they're right up there mm -hmm. mm-hmm that needed to be done. It needed to be done in a classy way. You know, you don't want to not tell the story. You don't want to tell, you know, because I think we can learn a lot from Whitney, both in good and bad. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, we didn't, I didn't, I'm glad they didn't just shy from it. Mm -hmm. In a loving way, where it wasn't disrespectful. It wasn't just about the uh, media grabs. I'm, okay. glad, I'm glad they did not do... Um, the accusations uh, um a talk against um uh, Dion's sister. Oh yeah. I'm glad yeah. We didn't do that. I I'm glad that we didn't just have like a play by play of just shots. Mm -hmm. Some people told me oh, they didn't get Preacher's White, they didn't get Wing 2XL, they didn't get Cinderella. Well you have two two uh, and a half hour movie. Yeah. Everything doesn't need to be seen. You know, I mean there was for what we know. There was three um, pregnancies or, or, or miscarriages that we yeah. know of. Yeah. One is enough. Yeah. We don't have to go through three of them. You know what I mean? This, mm -hmm. is, this is not like a series. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. We don't have to go through the big Bobby Brown because most of the world remembers that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and here's another thing. I'm sorry, I'm talking. But here's another thing. No, this, this is what I want because <laughs> I have a completely different opinion. So I want to know mm -hmm. um, why people love it because I run a page called For the Love of Whitney. And if right. people loved it, that's what I want to hear. I, yeah. I want to hear why. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm also glad they didn't bash Bobby. Mm. This was not a bashing Bobby moment. And I'm glad that they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. That at the end of the day, whatever happened to Whitney, it was a sum of some of her mistakes. Nice. You know what I mean? And it takes it puts the accountability right there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm great with that because you know everything else is either bashing Bobby or some things it was it was bashing Whitney. So it's just you mm -hmm. know so it, I think it was a good balance. What was your favorite part of the movie in particular? Yeah. Um, 
I think it was the sum total. Okay. Because I'm not, I'm not looking at like this one part that was like, ooh. Okay. You know, uh, there there were some funny parts. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I liked that they did the interview sometimes. <laughs> uh, like, I, I liked it. Oh, um, yeah. You know, and 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 even even when she ran into Clive's room and the erratic behavior that sometimes we know Whitney had, and and was you know doing the it's not right but it's okay and kind of mm -hmm. jumping on. Them, I thought that was funny too. Mm -hmm. You know, because because she's even speculations always she's always hot she's always hot mm -hmm. but then I don't think she was always high in those mm -hmm. moments. Mm -hmm. Take some point with, with the Kim Burrell tribute mm -hmm. and when Kim Burrell be honest oh she saw her. no she's excited yeah you know she was emotional yes she she was excited oh oh you know it was Kim hit that run and she's like oh oh no 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 yes Same thing. Same thing. yes if if Whitney Elizabeth Houston came and so, singing for me. You think I wouldn't be right at the stage? Thank, thank you. And that was her. That like I think um um Kimberell like she listened to Kimberell's like uh, yeah. first album. That was so she listened to her worship music. Yeah. And so for BET to get it right. Yeah. For they, her favorite singer to serenade her. That's right. They they did her. For one thing, BET did her well at the BET Honors. They did her well at the 2012 BET Awards. Mm -hmm. I think probably the best tribute that that we had yeah. um it was just it was just so well done yeah. and then when sissy yeah. came in there I, it was hard for me not to cry oh. you know what yeah. I mean? yeah you know you know she yeah. just to see a mama you know serenading her daughter mm -hmm. that's, and all that pain yeah. though Woo. felt it mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't maybe the technical perfect performance that we you know sissy could have done right but it, it was just you felt. Yeah. But it's yeah. No, I, I feel where you're coming from. I feel yes. where you're coming from. So, what would you give this movie on a scale of one to ten, and would you recommend it for other Whitney fans to check out? For, from from just a movie standpoint, I give it an eight. From a Whitney Houston standpoint, fan, I give it a ten. Okay. Um, and and I recommended it. Everyone that went, we went in a group. Q, I wasn't playing. So. <laughs> so I had, I, had a, I had a bunch of us. It's like seven of them, bro. Wow. So we went there, and uh, people I ain't meet, like, I, bring your date type <laughs> shit. So, so, so <laughs> people I ain't meet, and we, we sat there, and we enjoyed it. Everyone enjoyed it, right? Okay. And then I, um, and everyone was not like a crazy Whitney fan. Some, you know, they, they appreciate her. Some was Mary J. Blige, some was this, some was that. But they was like, my expectations was here, and it, it just exceeded nice. it. Nice. Um, and that was great. Um, and everyone that I've seen, I recommend it because, you know, I'm ready to go again. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, I love that because to me, that just puts more positive, you know, love for Whitney in the universe. You know what I mean? And for fans who've been waiting on something that they can champion. That's right. I'm glad that you felt that this gave you an opportunity to do that. Yes. No, did you enjoy the soundtrack? Because I'm banging the soundtrack. Nice. Are you? I mean, well, there's a few cuts on there that I love. I was I was shocked that they would um make um what is it like a remix to I Love the Lord. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> and don't cry and don't cry for me. I'm like, these two songs don't seem like we need to be dancing to them because I'm always gonna cry for Whitney Houston. And when I'm singing I Love the Lord, I don't know if I need a beat to yeah. it. So, so the remix for me personally, for a remix of slower songs is not my thing, right? Say that again. Like, like when you do remixes of uh, and like club yeah. remixes of slower songs, mm -hmm. it's not been my thing. Oh, We're gonna okay. keep the best, right? But um, so it was nice to hear BB. It was interesting um, to hear the song. Um, I agree with. Um, for one thing, they have "Don't Cry for Me" like three times. Okay. For the first time. Is, is the is the little fast one I skipped. The second one I think was produced by Dark Shot. He made it more of a ballad. And that's cool. He mm -hmm. put a track behind it. But I personally, you know, I don't listen to it often because it's sad. But I listen to the acapella one. Because the acapella okay. one. Yeah. Well, at, right? least they, at least they gave us something that was not necessarily out there. Right. You know. And then yeah. I, I like to join with, with Honest with um Lucky Day. Oh, you do? Okay. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, they—they they, did you like the fact that they paired her songs up like that? I, you know, 
fight? I did. I had a friend who was like, "Ugh." He was like, "When when I told him what the track listing on, he was just like, yeah, no." <laughs> but I, as, as long as he wasn't doing like a, a, a regular duet with Nippy, I, I figured this is what they were going to do as far as more or less him him sampling the track. Okay. And so because of that, I was I was I was good with it. I, I loved it. I love. I even in, it's interesting with the, it's not right, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, African kind of kind of kind of beat. I thought that was interesting too. I was over here, you know. <laughs> you you was in South Africa, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I was. I was afraid to pose because I don't you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen. You didn't. You didn't show us a beautiful photo of the three most man top yes. people in the yes. world. Yes, yes. Let let them have it. So, uh, listen. Yes, ma'am. Tell us your name and where we could follow you, because you're a fellow Whitney fan. People might want to follow you just based on your review. Oh man. Um. Well, my name is Leroy Maurice Clifter. Spelled like Leroy with a capital R. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Facebook, and then um, I'm on Instagram. And it's a long name. Listen, <laughs> 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 okay. I'm, I'm going to need you to get it shorter in 2023. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. But praise the Lord, y'all can follow me where y'all find me. <laughs> Well, listen, happy new year. Thank you for coming on and giving Whitney love and sharing your review of the movie. It helps. Thank you, Q. And thank you for all you do. I really appreciate just, you know, you trying to keep the, the love of Whitney alive. And, and, you know, your spirit is so kind. Oh, thank you. And it's an honor. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, it's yeah. an honor because uh, she's the best. Yeah. Right? You know, we all joke. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I, I will be too. Cause I was like okay. one moment in time. Okay. Come on, and that was that was my sixth grade graduation song. Oh, it, it one moment in time. Like, oh my! It was so many memories. Like it's really the soundtrack to our lives, well, right? It's my my favorite probably Whitney. My 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 first Whitney moment. And I'm gonna get off. Was um I believe in you and me. Mm. It's the it's the preacher's wife when she comes down the stairs yeah. and Denzel with her. Yeah, baby, love and so did I. Ah! Man, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you oh, so much. And happy new year to you. May may listen, nothing but love for you. Yes, ma'am. For, for this year and beyond. Thank you so much. You too. All right. Bye right. bye. See you later. He gave a great review, you guys. He gave a great review about um the Whitney Houston movie. That's what we're talking about. I want to dance with somebody movie. And I want to know why so many of you love it, or if you don't, tell me why you don't. Hello? Hello? I see you, but I don't see you or hear you. So, I don't know what to do about that. Hello? Okay. Hey, Auntie! What's going on? What you know, I be catching you on Instagram. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm, I'm, going to I'm going. I'm going on Instagram after this. You is? Yes. Yeah. I wanted to tell you about how I went to go see. I want to dance with somebody. That's what we're, the we're talking about now. So tell us, what did you think? Oh of my it? gosh! And I went by myself, so you know, I was having mixed emotions at first because you know how we always talk about, you know, me, you, and Rebecca Schwartz. You know how we are about Whitney. So <laughs> we love her, right? Like, oh, I was like, I don't know if I wanted to see it. Yeah. But I went to and I saw it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I I actually enjoyed it. Like Yay! I, I actually enjoyed it. Like it didn't it didn't do what the others did. Okay. It was something okay. different. It was something different about this one. I think I like the Robin character a lot. And okay. I think she really Okay. I think she really did what was supposed to be done. I like how she stood okay. behind with me, you know. Okay. So I was like, mm, okay. I want to. I, I actually want to see it again. Okay. That's how much I actually liked it because I'm. I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like the first one. And I'm like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> like I was Are you like, talking about no. the one on Lifetime? I didn't like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, I didn't like that one. But I think this one like actually does deep. I love the way the woman that plays Sissy, 
I love I, did everybody. A great job. And the one that job. played Bobby was good too. Oh, like okay. Ashton, yes. He was actually great. I was like, okay, he he really looked like him. Well, he's, like, a, good, he's, a, good, he's a good actor otherwise. Like, he's yeah, he actor. scared me a little bit because he was acting. He, I was like, oh, you you almost Bobby for real. Uh-uh. <laughs> like he, <laughs> yes, I love, I love yes. it. I really hey. do. And it was one point, I like how they did not show, um, they didn't show that scene. You know the scene I'm talking about. Oh, okay. They didn't show that scene. I like how they basically just blacked it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like the way they was very like cautious about that one because that's what I was afraid of. That's what I really mm. didn't want to see mm-hmm. because it's so many stories about that and that we don't really know. And I know. T- Your volume cut out a little bit. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I don't know what to do. You gonna have to leave and come back. I couldn't hear her. I don't know what happened to the audio, but from what she said, she loved the movie better than all the rest so oh, oh my god this is such an honor <laughs> hey what's your name chantal uh-uh, look at the picture in the back hello chantal how are you i'm doing well how about yourself i am so good i'm so happy new year happy new year to you i was just gonna say like i've been such an avid follower of you and your work really? because obviously yes obviously we share the same passion and love for whitney elizabeth houston Come so on. to be that, on this not the whole like name. amazing not the whole name. yes yes because you know she always referred herself as her complete name so it's yeah. just like you know yeah. why not you know but, um, <laughs> You know, I mean that it's full. It's more with the Elizabeth Houston, aka Nippy, aka right. the voice, right? Come on, come on, you got them all down. You got them. So tell me, tell me, Chantel, did you go see "I Want to Dance with Somebody" movie? I see anything that they show of Whitney Houston. Okay. So I did. I did enjoy it. You okay. know, I think what I did respect about the film is that they didn't show much about her drug issue, but her voice. Yeah. And just really showing the, you know, you know, the, I mean, I pretty much knew everything about Whitney Houston, because when you're an avid fan, you just pretty much read on anything. I mean, I read all yeah. the books as well. So I thought it was pretty good just kind of just focusing on, you know, who Whitney was and what made Whitney Houston Whitney Houston and it was her voice and what she gave to the world I mean obviously you know we know her what her struggles were uh, but at the end of the day we could see so much about you know she was just a normal person Mm -hmm. but was faced with so much um, you know she was in the public eye and I can imagine the pressure Mm. of that, Mm. you know, because there's so much at fault to, you know, her death, you know, other than the drugs, you know, people want to focus on that. A lot of it was just like her her upbringing in the church, you know, not Mm -hmm. letting her be who she was. And that become, that can become oppressive and demonic in many ways. And, you know, just her mother, you know, being very, you know, controlling, you know, and her and her dad and old school, you know, old yeah, school. Yeah, and then just like the the media and you know people, um, just like questioning her blackness and you Ooh. know, and even though you know she was this tough cookie, you know, but deep down inside, I remember Shaka Khan said something in an interview where she said we're highly sensitive entertainers, yeah. and we don't get to realize the pressure that you know this fame. Um, can cause an individual but what I did love is that she knew she had a higher purpose yeah. and she wanted to follow that mm-hmm. and she knew that purpose came from God and that's something that I've always highly respected about Whitney Houston is that she knew that she had a higher purpose and she wanted mm-hmm. to use it she didn't want to waste that talent and she loved what she did 
-hmm. but at the same time it came across Come to that and i think that now. i think that she was a definitely tough soldier mm -hmm. for what she had to deal with but it's still at the end of the day a tragic loss yeah i did get emotional in the aspect of damn whitney should be here yeah. you know and how i missed that old thing back because you know if you really think about it there you know singers today's are not like like how they used to be they're not and we'll never get that voice ever mm. ever again mm. so yeah i don't want to keep rambling but i did no I no, did no. Enjoy i'm it. coming on i'm coming on here for you to ramble <laughs> <laughs> i'm starting off the new year with chantel rambling. that's the whole point of this live good I've, I've been dying to be you know go on live with you and just talk i mean i could talk to you all day about whitney elizabeth Houston, oh. you know but you I know, because her. it's it's you know it's appreciative to keep on on her legacy because you know when you have someone of that caliber of that talent, yeah. of that anointing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and and her being so, you know, not she was very thoughtful about sharing her gift to the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to acknowledge that and appreciate that. How many people can be so willingly? to, you know, just take that leap of faith. But Whitney was just like very courageous and she knew her calling and her purpose. Yes. And and it just saddens me. It was saddening me because, you know, she's no longer here, yeah. you know, but obviously we have her music, you know, we keep her legacy alive and thankful to you that you do keep her legacy alive. I think it should continue on because it's like, sometimes I have to tell my niece and nephew, um, you know, about her because it's just like, you know, Thank you for she, doing that. Should, That's what keeps her alive. Yeah, she should never be forgotten. I mean, she's contributed so much mm -hmm. to the world, not just with her voice, but giving other people like a uh, platform too as well. Because she could have done the Waiting to Exile album all by herself. herself, but she opened the 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 door for other artists, and mm -hmm. you know, and it just also show you how relevant she was during the hip hop culture. Mm. You know, because you see her doing I'm Every Woman yeah. and you see, you know, TLC mm -hmm. and you see all these young girls, like she was just about embracing and welcoming everyone. And I think that's what she wanted. She wanted the world mm -hmm. to embrace her because she was that, um, you know, inclusive to everyone, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but the sad part is that we didn't allow Whitney to be herself. Mm -hmm. Mm. And, you know, I also think about the church girl, you know, because I was raised in the church, uh -oh. you know. And, uh oh, so you know that background. You know, something so beautifully about it is that she taught me that God can call you beyond the four walls. Mm. You know, that God can call you um, on other things than just one particular talent. And Whitney was very talented all around in acting and just producing. She was ex executive producer on a lot of things. So yes. it, just, it just made me appreciate her more, mm -hmm. but it just made me miss that old thing back. About yeah. you know. Well, you know what Celine Dion said about Whitney? She said, some people never die. Yes. And Whitney Houston is one of those people. Yes. And I yes. agree. Yes. Because it is, what, a decade later? Yeah. And she's still, like, she's named number two on the Rock and Roll 200, yeah. Rock, Rolling Stone 200, you know, women, greatest singers of all time. She's number two behind the person that she grew up wanting to emulate in a sense of touching others with her gift like she saw aretha and i, I remember saying in an interview if i could touch people like her you know? yeah mm -hmm. and she definitely did and um you know i i you know i'm starting to read uh um what's the, the title called uh don't didn't we almost have it all oh um, i interviewed the author he's so great like he just you know he just really gave in so much details about who she was and, you know, talking about her faith and just talking about, you know, just the hum humane person that she was that we didn't give a chance to mm. Whitney. And it's like, I just hope that we learn to value, you know, people and mm. whether you're famous or not, there's a, you know, Whitney gave such a learning lesson, mm. you know, through her life. And mm -hmm. I, and I hope and I pray that we, you know, we take the lessons of what she went through of just being like this target of being ridiculed or not having, 
you know, not spreading some form of kindness to people. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. all she wanted. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because even if you think about the Diane Sawyers, it was like when she said, then they really didn't love me, you know, because of how she was being treated. And I hope that we can take that lesson and apply that to everyday life mm. and how we treat people um, and realize that, yeah, even these celebrities, these stars, as much as they may, may have a lavish life, they still have their demons. They still have their struggles. Well, struggle. they're still human. <laughs> Just yeah. because you know yeah. their name does not exempt them from being human. And you never know what people have been through or yeah. going through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you see them just regular folk just out in the world. You don't know what they just yeah. left and what they're heading home to. So, yeah. um, and I yeah, think I, about like, I'm so appreciative even they put the story about Robin, you know, because she was yeah. such a, a vital, important person in her life. And, um, you know, and I appreciate how, you know, she, she was a true friend to her. Mm -hmm. And I, I always remember that that interview she did with the Red Table Talk in um, with Jada Pinkett Smith, yeah. where she said that the reason for her writing the book was because she wants people to have a friend like Whitney Houston the way she had it. Because she was trying to represent who she really was and, mm -hmm. and, and how important it is to have somebody like her. Mm -hmm. But we never learned to value her because just because she was in the public eye and just because, she, you know, her marriage wasn't all that great or whatever, you know, but still at the end of the day, it's like, you know, she was just human and we didn't learn to value her and appreciate her. And because she's done so much even to do a school and, and to help people who were mm. sick or, you know, just, you know, with, with the, you know, I just think about all the things that she did with her music, like yeah. how many lives were saved, Come on. you know, how many relationships were rekindled, wow. you know, how many people like myself when I was an adolescent, you know, I'm not that old, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, I remember going through depression mm. and how much she really helped me to see how I'm loved. Because even though I'm an adolescent, I'm still not learning about relationships or whatever, yeah. but just her saying, I will always love you. Jesus loves me, um, mm. that you're not alone. Just all these, all these things that probably she connected with those music helped me as an adolescent, oh, you yeah. know, and then throughout my entire life until her death, even though her, her life, her legacy still continues on, but mm -hmm. it, it just made me realize how much of an impact, you know, she left in my life mm -hmm. and so many, you know, um, yeah, I can imagine so many hearts that were broken. She, she was used to heal. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to appreciate when we have somebody of that caliber to take mm -hmm. care of them, you know, to speak yeah, life. And you know them. what? I think that also what we're forgetting too is she was a first. Yes. Yes. And there was, she created the status. Like there was no one before her. Her yeah. seven consecutive number ones has still not been surpassed. No. And she surpassed the Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. You know, I have my, my take on the Beatles, whatever, but you know, but I just I'm think just, I'm just saying like you know, I know. There was only I mean, I, I guess what I'm saying is that she was a trailblazer. So yeah. I'm not surprised of the target being on her back, the fact that she was so mainstream, but black, but came from the church, but in the eighties with this image. So, you know, it's she was a soldier. You know what and I mean? Just her, and also being a black woman. And I yes. like that that was even addressed about, you know, um, I think she was talking to Clive Davis in the movie about like, you know, how tired she is and what black women have to go through. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just interesting to see how people felt like she was a sellout when she did a lot for the black community. She paved the way, Come on. you know, for so many. It's like when you did that interview with Mickey Howard, you know what I mean? Like she was just talking about how, you look know, at look at you with dropping receipts. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. When she died and you did that interview with Mickey Howard, it was just like, you know, I just 
it made me understand her even more because these are people who actually have relationship with her that touched her like you you know that i couldn't have that opportunity yeah. because it allowed me to see the humane the humanity that she was that the media wasn't able to do Amen. so it just brought me closer to her to to understand ah i get the impact why the impact you know mm -hmm. because like having whitney was just like she reminded me of my aunt you know what i mean right. so it was just like she was like a family member mm -hmm. and and i just recall moments where we would see like the at&t commercial with her with that white dress singing and you know i'm i'm a you know, my family's Dominican. So it's just like, I still remember that vivid moment where, you know, if you're surrounded by Dominican people, it's like, we're, we talk loud. But the <laughs> moment she came on, it was like, there wasn't a pin drop because that's how powerful her voice gravitated to get to, mm. you know, to, for you to give your attention to Whitney. And it's like, we don't have that nowadays. We mm. don't. And it's mm. like, you just start missing it. And I miss yeah. Whitney so much. It just made me miss her and, and, and remember the good old days when music was popping, you know? Music. <laughs> music, look, music was the medicine. Yes, it was. And it's it's like right now it's lost in translation. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's not even about, you know, connecting with people. There's this British artist, which I recommend listening to. His name is Stormzy. Okay. And they they had asked him about, you know, who his who his go to uh, music is. And he you know, obviously he was naming Adele, he was naming Beyonce, but he, he said his goat like goat goat to was Whitney Houston and something he said, you know, when they when the guy the guy that interviewed him, they said why? And he was like, It's the feeling. It's like she knew how to, you know, get to your emotion. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was just like when you heard her sing, you felt that, and mm -hmm. you don't feel that anymore. You yeah. don't. You but don't. you know, Whitney was very particular about the words. Yeah. She was yeah. very particular. Her she had the greatest teacher ever. Yes. her mother. You yeah, know? and um, she had been doing what we saw her doing for a decade before we saw her doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a master at eighteen, honestly. Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, and it's just like, I think about like, oh my God, Whitney could sing any genre. Any. It wasn't like she was limited. Yeah, she didn't write any of her songs, but could she take a song and deliver it and get chills, man? Come it was on. like if you do not believe in God, <laughs> just listen to Whitney. Because she's just thank like you. Because she's a storyteller. Yes. She told a story with her with her songs. Yeah, she did that. It was something so interesting in the movie when she was talking about how she didn't like um, Why Does It Hurt So Bad? Yeah. And then afterwards, she, when she sang it, she listened to it, she understood it. Because, you know, it's like how you said, any song she sang had mm -hmm. to be in connection mm -hmm. to how she was feeling and what she was going through. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I appreciated the film, even though I was like, I knew all this stuff, but it's just like, you know, when you're an avid Whitney Houston fan, it's like, yeah. you're going to go watch anything. You're going to read anything. You're going to have your own critiques. Yeah. But it's it's still, it's just like, you're going to support Whitney in everything that she did because it's like, she gave to the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was she was a first soldier at every She point, was. You know? and, and that's, that's why I got the, I, I got that from Mickey, Mickey Howard saying. Yeah, so yeah, I love that older. interview because you could just hear her sen uh, sincerity about who Whitney was and the burden she had to carry and what that path is like for somebody who, like, who do you hang out with? Yeah. Who, with, with someone with that caliber or that. She, I, I don't think she, I don't, I honestly don't think she had any peers. Yeah. I don't either. You know, yeah. it's like, I think I even remember Sissy Houston was saying one time in an interview, it's like people were just using her, pulling her in all, yeah. you know, directions. She's got a kind heart. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, she was just like, you do get lost in that. Yeah. You get lost in that. And, you know, as, as somebody who's like a mental health counselor, it's like, it, it made me understand her more and, and just look at myself as like, yo, I'm human too. I'm not always going to get it right. But, yeah. I just love the aspect that in spite of everything, she still understood who loved her the most. And that was God. That was it. And, yes. I think that's what and she had her and she had a relationship. Yeah, she did. 
you know, that, yes. that she was not afraid to share with the yeah. world. You yeah. Know? And, you know, she's just, you know, I just think about like how she's truly missed and how, yeah. you know, the world will never get that again. Never. 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 Well, what I'm happy about is all the wonderful things that you just shared from the perspective that you shared it with, because Whitney's Houston spirit is big. Yeah. So I know she cut, listen, I know she caught wind of all of that. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, because I was this little girl who was hoping to see her in Radio City Music Hall, but back then, you know, there was no like internet or we didn't have phones and of tickets course. were selling out so it was just like I never got that chance but just seeing her even yeah. on television yeah it was just like I felt you know I was present physically present just watching her and feeling connected you know it's like even if you didn't understand what she was going through and you're this little teenage yeah. kid yeah. but it was just like you it were just so drawn to her. Yeah. And that was her anointing. That's what yeah. God had blessed her with. Yes. It was like she knew how to gravitate everyone. That was, children, listen, adolescents. That, was the, that was the, you hit the nail on the head. When I interviewed um Gerald uh, Albright, he's a yes. saxophonist. Yes, yes. He, he said, I played with a lot of people and they are great singers. He's like, but there was just something about Whitney. And I was like, that anointing. And he was like, yes. You know because, who also mentioned that Rodney Jenkins, he's like the famous producer. Yeah, Rodney um, Jenkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was just saying, like, I think he was on Vlad too. Um, and mm -hmm. just talking about how he had worked with all the singers. Yeah. And he wasn't like dissing any of the singers, like Christina Aguilera, yeah. Beyonce, whatever. But he was just saying, out of all the artists that he worked with, Whitney was it in his perspective. Yeah. And he said, he he made it plain and simple. He was like, Whitney was different. She came from the church. She, it's just like she could take any genre. Like her voice could go at any level. Thank you. And, you know, that was it. It was like, I think that's what made people connect. Even if you didn't understand the lyrics, yeah. it was just like her voice just took you there. Well, what, one of my favorite live concerts from her is in is 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 when she was in Brazil, in Rio, <sighs> Rio de, be, and because she was of course herself, yeah. But the love from that crowd, yeah, was bananas. I love that Brazilian yeah. audience because they gave her what she deserved, and she just gave them even more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it just gave them even more as if they're I, I didn't even know there was more for her to give but because I mean I heard them over her yeah. singing like I've never seen that before not that it's never happened but not in that way that I've seen on YouTube or anything I was just like this is what she deserved every concert yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, she did that in South Africa, too, with yeah. the Nelson Mandela but situation. something about that Brazilian, yes. let me tell you, come on, that Rio de they was, they was on 10. I don't know if, it, if it's your people down there, your Dominican people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But they, did. listen, they loved her in a different kind of way, did. okay? I and loved it. I mean, it's just like, you know... What what a what a gift! Like yeah. I I feel so appreciative to have been born in such an era, you know. And I always tell people, music ain't like what it used to <laughs> be back in my days, because you know we had the music videos popping, MTV, yeah. all that. I mean, not that there weren't some critiques back yeah. in the days, but it yeah. was just like, but it was it different. Was such, it yes, was the delivery was just like on point, yeah. and it made you acknowledge like what a singer is. Come on. So, you know, Whitney had that, you know, yeah. and it's just like, it just, you know, it just saddens me, but I'm, I'm, I feel a sense of gratitude and knowing that I was alive yeah. when all that started. Cause you, you know got to I mean? see it all. You had a, I you mean, have to. you had a, you had a front row yes. and it was, exciting. it was exciting because she was the only one in the world at that time. But there was still like, you know, you had your Janet Jackson, yeah. you had the Bakers, you had Prince, you had Michael. So like, it was a plethora of artists on a level just insane. Yeah. Uh, insane excellence. Yeah. 
and and that's what and and that's what she gave she gave her all you yeah. know she, as she knew the best that she could yeah but people weren't able to see that and i think that the movie did give that glimpse of okay you know you know just it's like giving her all because she understood as i said previously like her calling and you know at the time she loved it but then it was just like with all the pressure of fame and not being able to be who she was and just like people over you know just using her and just taking advantage of her you know i could understand her you know when fans were coming up to her and she didn't want to sign order like i get that because you get to a point where you're just like you don't even know if people are being genuine anymore if they really do love you because once you have tasted so many like negativity and heartbreak, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like, you know, you do lose your passion, but yeah. I'm sure in her moments of her quiet time, she, she tapped into her singing because she was doing it for herself, you know, just to kind oh, of, yeah. you know, I just acknowledge the fact that, you know, she understood what was given to her. Amen. But, you know, people didn't acknowledge that and I and I hope people take that away you know from the movie it's like forget about the drugs everyone has their own addiction yeah. and it doesn't have to be drugs come on you know but it's just like the whole premise is like we had a very talented anointed you know um amazing phenomenal singer yeah who who graced us with her gift to the world sure. not just to black people but just everybody globally because she understood yeah just as like even going like thinking about malcolm uh, not malcolm and martin luther king thought about the civil rights it was for everyone everyone to join in it was yeah. an inclusivity and that's yeah. how it was for whitney she understood that music was for everyone it wasn't just for any specific age sex gender it was for everyone. Oh. And and from what I learned from that is just it just showed me that God is an inclusive God. Of course. Because, you know, because of, of how she believed yeah. that music should be touched for everyone, mm -hmm. not just one specific um group or gender or color or whatever. And she but, and she yeah. showcased that with projects like Cinderella, you know, Cheetah Girls, uh, yes, Princess Diaries. Yes. So I want to, I, before I let you go, I want you to tell me what you would rate this movie and if you would recommend it to a friend who loves Whitney or wants to know about Whitney. What are your You know, I, I obviously will recommend anybody to watch, okay. you know, a Whitney Houston movie because I, I, you know, as much as I hear critiques, because there were critiques even before I saw it, yeah. like even negative critiques, mm -hmm. I always like to make my own assumption yeah. because I like to think for myself. And so I give it a seven. Okay. You know, I give it a seven. You know, okay. um, I think there could have been some things that could have been, you know, good and more detailed. But um, the fact that it was a woman director, a black woman director, I mm -hmm. appreciate it. Casey we, Lemons. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I appreciate her. I think that she did a great job, you know, focusing on the main storyline of Whitney. And it was her voice and what she gave to the world, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend anyone to watch. I want everyone to have their own critique of it because yeah. like my sister, you know, she knew my love for Whitney. Um, and she loved Whitney, but not as a fanatic as I am. Right, right, but, right, right. You know, right. She, she was moved. She said it was amazing. She said she right. cried. Oh, and wow. I did too. I had a moment, you know. So, yeah, I definitely will recommend people to watch and, and come with their own critique. Because I think at the end of the day, you'll get some raw emotion okay. from the film. Because right. of her delivery in her music and in her mm -hmm. pr performance. So, absolutely, yeah. Y'all hear that? Go see it. She said, go see it. All right. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you shared about Whitney. As you could tell, I just was eating it up. I know Whitney somewhere catching the spirit going, she right. Yeah. <laughs> she tell him. Yes. Tell no, him, girl. Thank you for everything <laughs> you've done and continue to do to continue her legacy. It means the world, you Aww. know, to me because this, this is an individual who should never be forgotten. Yes. You know, her music should continue on living. And, and we need to show the humane of who Whitney Houston was and why she did what she did. And you, you've done that. And, oh. and you've represented all fans who, who love Whitney. So I appreciate you. I hope this, this will be continuous conversation. Yes. You keep doing what you're doing. You're a great interviewer. You're great at what you do. 
Thank you for your service. Thank you for showing Whitney your love. Thank you, love. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> yeah, you better come back. <laughs> I, I love you, girl. I love you. I love you, too. And listen, Happy New Year. Happy Wish New you year nothing but too. love for all of 2023 and beyond. You, too. Take care. Yeah, take care. <laughs> Thank you for your review. Yes, no problem. Yes. Bye. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. That's what I came on here to find out. I came here to find out why you loved the movie. And if you didn't love it, why didn't you love it? But, but yeah, it's a, I want to dance with somebody. I want to know what your thoughts are. I think. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good. What's your name? My name is Tanelia. Tanelia, I can't see you. Are you just audio? No, I have it on video also. I can see you, but. Where you, girl, where you at? Tanelia, where you at? <laughs> I can see you. I can't okay, see you. Okay, I, I, okay. Well, tell me, did you see them? It says you're still joining, so maybe it's just. Oh, maybe it's oh, just taking a minute. Taking okay. A minute. Yeah. So, so I went with my husband. Okay. And we saw the movie over the weekend and he knows that I am absolute Whitney fanatic I've loved her since I was probably like seven eight oh <laughs> yes. yes come on with the young age <laughs> this yes grown up song. Uh, yes yes girl I used to have the the boom box beside my bed at night <laughs> my first my first tape that my mom bought me was I'm Your Baby Tonight. Come on. Now, I love that album. Yeah. Listening to it beside my bed at night. Go to sleep, wake up when it, the tape stop and turn it over and play again. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so we went and saw the movie and um, I hadn't read anything about reviews or anything yet. I wanted to get my own review of it. Great. So, I liked the movie. Yay! The only... I did like the movie. Okay. Um, I will say that other, like other, uh, biopics that I've seen, like, um, what's love got to do with it and Ray stuff like that. The actor made me forget that they were not that person. Like when I watched what's love got to do with it, yeah, I thought Angela Bassett was Tina Turner. Like uh, she was same, <laughs> same. Like right, was not like no right. Tina Turner. Right. But I just feel like she did not do that for me. Like, I just kept wanting to see Whitney. Like, I just, I wanted, but I I really enjoy what I enjoyed the most was hearing her voice, like, echo through the theater. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, that was. You know what I did? You know what I did when, 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 when she came on and Whitney's voice was peering through the theater? Mm -hmm. I, I closed my eyes. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna see the real Whitney Houston. <laughs> right, right. Especially at the end, I thought they were gonna. Sh I just thought. I just knew they were gonna flash to Whitney Come singing on. that. Yes. Would that have been the best yes. thing to do? Yes. yes. That's what my husband said too. He was like, "I know they're gonna put her up there. I know they're gonna put her up there." But it never came. And I. That's what I think I wanted the whole movie. I just kept wanting her. You know. Yes. And you and you couldn't. Yeah, and you couldn't have her, but you know, but you just wanted her there. Yes. And that yeah, that would so epic though, wouldn't it? If it yes. would start off with the actor, then dissolve mm -hmm. like yes. after three seconds and yes, when the because camera that was spinning. Been. Yes, when the camera was spinning around her, I was like, when it go back, it's gonna be her. Yes. It's gonna be her. You better go ahead and direct the new movie. <laughs> Yes. So that that's the thing. I just kept wanting her, you know, to be on the screen, even though I knew, you know, it couldn't be her. But I, w I would give the movie a C. Okay. One, because I didn't forget that she was, wasn't was Whitney. And I felt like the movie was kind of rushed. Like, it rushed Girl, through her life. I was like, uh, okay, she married. Okay. Right. We at the, we, we, we at the uh, she's singing the national anthem. Oh Lord, okay, she on Oprah. Right. I just felt like it was kind of rushed through, and I was like, "Dang!" Like they, it just felt right. And I, 
I don't know if I'm the only one that know, but I felt like some of the events were kind of like out of order. Girl, I, yes, they were. Yeah. <laughs> and some, some of them was wrong because that wasn't from her first album. And this, right. and this hairstyle, <laughs> we know it was the Bob because it was the My Love Is Your Love Tour. Yeah. What are they doing with the Afro? Right. And when her and Bobby showed up with the red outfits. I was like, that didn't happen then. That was at the Billboard Music Awards. They was already married. She had just had Bobby Christina. <laughs> Thank you. And look, you can't mess up stuff we can Google. Right. <laughs> right. Right. And I was like, and she, you know, she was you know, rumored to be with more than one person, not just Jermaine Jackson. Like, <laughs> Thank you. Jermaine old greasy soul. Right. Looking like a California raisin. <laughs> and, and she blew him away at every duet. Okay? Right. Exactly. Exactly. But Yes, we have the same criticism. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Right. Yes. I, was, I, I was I thought I was the only person that felt like that. Cause I was like, everybody says how much they love it. And I did love it. I just but I did feel like it was rushed. Yeah. The events were out of order. And I just never forgot that she, I mean, she did a good job, her acting wise, her mimicking yeah. Whitney's movements and things like that. But it wasn't like the Angela Bassett or Jamie Foxx performance no, for me. No. <laughs> yeah, no, you, no, you did throw Jamie Foxx because he was, I said, that's Ray Charles right Thank there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The same. Yeah. So, but I would recommend for any Whitney fan definitely to see it because everybody that knows me knows that I have loved yeah. Whitney since I was nine. When you was on Fanatic, I was like, that should be me. <laughs> it should have been. It should have been all of us. Whitney right. just stayed there saying, okay, next, Whitney. Right. Got exactly. <laughs> exactly. She Listen, she should have been there all day just to meet the people. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. You next. You next. <laughs> Yes, yes. I, oh, I, I, I'm so happy that yeah. you actually went to see it, didn't look at anybody's yes. reviews. And even though you gave it a C, you still would recommend people go see it for themselves. Yes, definitely. It was definitely better than the Lifetime movie. Lord, thank, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> A hundred percent better than the uh, the Lifetime movie. So yes, I would definitely recommend that you go see it if you're a Whitney fan. But I loved it. Yay! <laughs> so she gives it to you guys, but she recommends that you go see it yes. because it's it's entertaining. You it know? is. Yeah. And if you're a Whitney fan, you're gonna enjoy it anyway. Just just to hear her music, just to hear her voice. Um, when it comes out on TV, I'm gonna make my kids sit down and watch it. <laughs> that's good. No, that's called Black History. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's that's actually what my son said when I when we me and my husband was going to the movie. I was like, we're gonna go see the Whitney Houston movie, and I know you guys are not gonna sit through that. He was like, Mom, that's Black History. I want to watch it. <laughs> it is. I love his response. I was like, I ain't know, I ain't even think about it like that. But you guys, <laughs> yes. you gotta teach the babies. You know what I'm saying? You got to right, baby. Yes. Oh, I'm so yes. I'm so happy that you uh jump. I never, I, I still it never um I didn't get to see your beautiful face, but oh, um it never caught it, oh, girl. So, so <laughs> you know you got to come back again. I will. You know, I definitely I will. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing, you guys. Uh, tell your name again. Tanelia. Tanelia in the building. Yes. Happy New Year, yes. Tanelia. Yes. Thank you. Same to you. Yes, and, and wishing you all the best. Nothing but awesome. love. You guys have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was a great review. That was a great review, you guys. Oh, my gosh. And she had all the same criticism. I got to laugh. That's I love laughing. I love to laugh. So, you know, I'm going to check in with these comments and then get up off of here because I just wanted to check in with some of you guys. And I got to talk to at least three people, which is awesome. Um, we can, you can see her. Okay. I couldn't see her. Hi, Quincy. I'm going to see it on the fifth for my birthday. Happy birthday. First of all. And, uh, let me know what you think, Trixie. That's awesome. All right. Let me see any comments that I missed. Thank you all for joining and watching and 
and sharing your thoughts in the comments about the movie. Anthony Brown says the movie was the realest I've seen, but I definitely agree at the end if they would have had Whitney appear at the end. Yes, Anthony, that would have been like, that would have took it like to a whole nother level if we got to see her doing the American Music Awards, that whole tribute with Whitney Houston in the theater. I think fans, I mean, for those who already love it, it would have took it up 10 notches. The whole Eddie vibe was missing. I know there was not a mention of an Eddie Murphy, Ryan. You got that right. And she was with him for a little minute. That's why my review was a seven equals a C. Okay, Chantel. <laughs> you the same as Tanelia. Okay. They were out of order. They were. And I'm like, you know, I, I can see if it was from Whitney Houston's diary that none of us in the public ever read and you did stuff out of order. We would never know. But these are public events that we can Google. You, Whitney has signature hairstyles during certain eras and music. Like, you could Google that. So for that to be out of order, I think that's unacceptable. But yeah, they should have bought Whitney in the end, Tiffany. Let me see. Yes, okay. Love the movie. Diane said she loved the movie. You have a very pretty smile. Oh, thank you, Diane. Let me smile again. Happy New Year to you, too. Let's see. I would like to come live with you one day. I'm shy, shy, but one day I would love, I love when you so, yes, come on, come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Tiffany rates the movie as a seven. Okay. All right. Well, you guys, for the most part, um, let me see. I was on my computer. Let's see. It said, um, let's see. On Rotten Tomatoes, the tomato the tomato meter gave it 43%, but the audience score is 92%, and that's like 500-plus verified ratings. So the audience loved it, but the critics, not so much. So I'm definitely going to see it. I'm a friend, not a fan. I know that's right, Kimmy. Yes, go support your girl. Tell me what you think when you finish watching it. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining me to talk a little bit about I Want to Dance. Uh, I Want to Dance with You movie. Um, I'll come back uh, maybe next week and talk to some more people. More people may have seen it by then. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for supporting uh, For the Love of Whitney fan page. <clears throat> um, I created it to celebrate Whitney Houston in the most positive way. So um, you can click the link and there's a fan docu documentary on YouTube that I did called For the Love of Whitney. And so this is the Facebook page that went along with it. Um, I originally set the Facebook page up just to support the fan documentary, but kind of took on a life of its own. And I'm glad that we're all here together loving Whitney. All right. The editing was off to me. We need those deleted scenes. Okay, Martha. Love Whitney. Yes, finale. Yes, Ryan. Whitney will always live in our hearts and minds. Absolutely. Yes, she will. Yes, we will. I like the movie. Wish they would have shown her love for God more. I know. But they did start off in the church, so that's my best friend, Whitney Houston. I know that's right, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do for Nippy. Hey, I thank Nippy for everything she did for me before we even met. She's the only stranger that I loved. Um, you know, only person that that I didn't know and love before I actually met her, you know? So, hey, I'm honored to honor her and honored to connect with all of you because my journey of Love and Whitney was very much alone by myself. Me, I was the president of the fan club and the only member. So this is a whole new experience to connect with other people who love Whitney as much as I do. So I appreciate you. Thank you for coming on live with me. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Follow me everywhere. I'm on Instagram. Does she ever come in your dreams? You know what, Kimmy? She can... I have dreamt about her, but like I never get to see her. She's like going to sing, but she hasn't sang yet. Like there's only one time, well, maybe two times, one time where um, she gave me a hug. You know, it was like a thank you hug or something like, and it was the only time I ever like 
made contact with her in a dream and hugged her in a dream after all these years. Just just one time. Just one time. Just one time. So um yes, you guys, I see there's some other people who want to go live, but I'm gonna have to go live with you another time because um I'm about to go live on Instagram. So I'll be back here next week. Um thank you guys for joining joining me and uh, follow me everywhere. Follow For the Love of Whitney on Instagram and uh, follow me, Studio QTV, at Studio QTV everywhere or at Quincy everywhere. So I appreciate you guys and I love you so much for loving Whitney. All right. Happy New Year. And I wish nothing but love for all of you um, from now <clears throat> until the end of time. And anybody who's going to watch this on a replay, thank you for pressing play. Thank you for loving Whitney. Go out and see the movie. Come back and tell us what you thought. Peace, everybody.